This lesson focuses on information literacy, including what it is and why it's important. So what is information literacy? A formal definition states that information literacy is the set of skills needed to identify, access, evaluate, incorporate, and use information both ethically and effectively. Information literacy can be thought of as a cycle. At the beginning of the cycle, you must identify that there is a need for information. Once that identification is made, you can then determine how and where to access the information. Um, you can then evaluate the information if it's what you need and if it's credible information. You can incorporate the information into your existing knowledge and then you can begin to use it both eth ethically and effectively. So why is it important? And we're going to go over several reasons, um, but one of the most important is that we currently have physical access to information. Information is available everywhere. It comes at us from all sides and it's usually coming in unfiltered formats. Um, think of the internet. The internet has a wealth of information available. Not all of it is good information. Okay, Information literacy is the toolbox that really provides that intellectual access. Okay, It gives us the tools needed to evaluate and understand information for a variety of needs. Um, and some of these needs are not necessarily academic, um, though that definitely comes into play as well. Um, problem solving, lifelong learning, decision making, and planning for the future are all needs that can be met by having um, information literacy skills. Another reason information literacy is important is it's the solution to a term called data smog. Now data smog was first coined by David Schenck and it's this concept that says that too much information can create a barrier in our lives. This happens when um, large amounts of information come quickly at us from all directions. And this in turn leads to an anxiety that we're having to make decisions quickly without having all of the available information. Now information literacy really helps with this term um, because now we're able to cope a bit better when we know that we have the skills to know when we need information and where to locate it. Once we locate information, we're also able to analyze and evaluate it, letting us know that we have the confidence that we're using the information to make an informed decision. Um, a quote from the Alexandria Proclamation states that information literacy lies at the core of lifelong learning. It empowers people in all walks of life to seek, evaluate, use, and create information effectively to achieve their personal, social, occupational, and educational goals. Another quote comes from the readings that you did before this lesson from the ACRL. Information literacy improves our quality of life as we make informed decisions when buying a house, choosing a school, hiring staff, making an investment, voting for our representatives, and so much more. Information literacy is, in fact, the basis of a sound democracy. So how does information literacy tie in with library courses as a whole, and in particular this library course? Library courses teach students the skills needed to be information literate. So at the core of this course, is that you're going to receive the skill set to be information literate. Um, library courses, including this one, are programs of hands-on instruction that promote the effective use of the library and other information resources. Um, you're going to be given the skills to locate, use, and evaluate information. And during your time in college, these skills that you learn in this course um, will help lead to increased academic success. You'll be able to write better papers, have higher quality research projects, all the while reducing the anxiety that some people might feel um, from having to deal with the library and having to deal with so much information. Um, and it also helps to reduce the incidence of accidental plagiarism. Beyond college, as we've as we've talked about prior to this, it sets the foundation for lifelong learning. It gives you a skill set that you might need in order to make informed decisions as an adult to determine what car to buy, what house to buy, um, what job to take. Okay.